morning. I'm Donna Angel, Business Development Director for the City of Berea. This morning, I'm on the site in our industrial part of a new project going on with Mr. Jack Kelly. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Donna. We're excited to be here today because Jack, Mr. Kelly, is a part of our new construction project going on here. And we want to hear more about what is happening, what he's doing, and so forth. As we all know, Kentucky remains in the top 10 states in the nation as uh, the most economical growth in our manufacturing facilities. So with what Mr. Kelly is doing here in Berea, Kentucky, just adds to all the great things that we have going in Berea. We currently have a beautiful App Harvest Ag Tech building going up in our neighborhood here. We have the Vocational Tech School Ignite that plans to open very quickly here in Berea, along with our new Hitachi Honda engines being uh, fabricated right here in Berea, Kentucky as well. So what we want to do today is to hear from Jack about his company and what is going on here in Berea with his construction project. Jack, can you tell us a little bit about your company? Absolutely. So MP Kelly, we build for businesses. We build for manufacturers, we build for developers, and we build for distributors. So Donna, kind of the project we have going on here, we call it the Berea Spec Building. So it's designed to support supply chains for Kentucky manufacturers. COVID-19, there's a lot of disruptions to supply chains because they were all global. And they still yes. kind of, some of them are. But we think there's a strong opportunity for manufacturers to move their supply chains closer to home and to ensure that the products they need for final assembly are near the final location they need to go to. Very good. I think you're on something there, Jack. COVID kind of disrupted the whole world in every way, so supply and demand became the biggest thing that was out there is how we get everything today. Has the supply demand chain uh, slowed your project down in any way whatsoever? With construction, planning is everything. So we actually bought out all of our materials about six months in advance of starting construction. So it really hasn't delayed us at all. Awesome, glad to hear that. What is, what type of building are you building here in Berea? I've been blessed to get to see the actual architect renderings and it is truly amazing. What made you think of the design that you have going on your building today? So we were looking to build a space that would that could accommodate a distributor or a manufacturer. So we started looking at basic principles of a building that most companies need. And so we tried to come up with a design as well that was different than just your typical barn looking industrial building. So this building here, as you can see, it's gonna have a single slope roof with the high side facing Fairstown Middle School with an entrance on that corner. We're gonna have roughly 28 foot clear heights throughout the building and then about five dock doors at the end of it, and it's going to be 50,000 square foot to start. So this is kind of the perfect building for uh, a supplier or a manufacturer to come in and occupy me. They've got the necessary clear heights for any racking or storage they might need. And they also have the ability to put in a crane system between these columns that are spread 66 feet apart. So it's open floor space and designed for a modern industrial user to come in and succeed here in Berea. That's an excellent layout of the building and quite capable of housing just about any type of business manufacturing facility in Berea. Is this building, Jack, one that could have uh, an additional building, building built onto it at any time in the future? Yes, so the building's gonna start out at 50,000 square feet, but it's expandable up to 92,000. So it gives a lot of flexibility for future growth as uh, manufacturing really starts to move closer to I-75, probably particularly Berea, with this strategic location within a day's drive of two-thirds of the population. Correct. Jack, you could have built anywhere because I know of all the great design work you've done all over the state and probably out of state as well. What was the final decision that really sold you on building in Berea, Kentucky? So Don, I won't lie to you, we're from Madison County. Empty Kelly has been based in Richmond for 18 years. We started looking around the state and talking to local government officials. And so we came to Berea, we started talking with Mayor Fraley, we started talking with you, we started talking with the Coast Department. We talked with uh, the Madison County Judge Executive Reagan Taylor. And everything in Madison County and Berea especially was just focused on productive growth, healthy community growth, 
and it's just its prime location on 75 it's really hard to pass up very good i have to agree with you there uh maria madison county is such a grounded well uh established community for industry our richmond industrial park along with our berea industrial park and the maybe road uh, industrial park we are naturally set to house such great manufacturing facilities. Jack, if you could do one thing on changing your project at this moment, would there be anything you would change or what would you change? Donna, there is one thing. So we've gotten a lot of requests from potential occupiers of the building and I would move the dock a little closer to the front and have them spread out across the building, but that's it. Other than that, I think we're ready to welcome a new business to Berea. Fabulous. We're delighted to close out today with Mr. Jack Kelly of MP Kelly Design and Construction Company. And we are so excited here in Berea to welcome this new company and to eagerly await the new uh, business that will be coming to Berea very quickly here. And Jack, I forgot to ask you, what is our completion date we are anticipating reaching? Yep, so Donna, we will be substantially complete by the end of October. At that time, a business can come in and they'll have, they'll have fit up needs such as building out an office. But other than that, the building will be completely ready for occupancy and we'll have a certificate of occupancy for whatever need might arise for the space. Perfect. That's an exciting moment to look forward to. Would you mind if we follow along with you on the progress of the building as the construction goes up? Absolutely. Great. I think we'll be back to visit with you and do a little more industrial hopping in the next few weeks here and keep you posted on the new construction project by MP Kelly Design and Construction. Have a great day.